history made at the Texas Capitol today, not once, but twice. Our political reporter Jack Fink is in Austin live tonight to fill us in on the day's events. Jack? Well, Doug, both sides of the Texas Capitol made headlines today. First, in the House, where members voted unanimously to elect Republican Dennis Bonin of Angleton in the Houston area as their new speaker, the first new speaker in 10 years. Bonin and Governor Greg Abbott told House members today that they must solve two major issues facing the state rising property taxes and how to fix how the state pays for its public schools. As part of a solution, Governor Abbott has proposed capping property tax revenue increases for cities, counties and school districts to 2.5 percent a year unless there's a vote to go higher. Fort Worth Mayor Betsy Price is at the Capitol and told me she opposes a one-size-fits-all cap because it would hit fast-growing cities like Fort Worth hard. But she says she will work with state leaders. But Fort Worth has lowered our rates seven cents in the last three years. So we're, we understand the burden on our citizens, and we're working on that. And that's something we want them to understand. Don't paint every city with the same brush. We're all a little bit different. And then history was made in the Senate today when Republican Senator Jane Nelson of Flower Mound became the first woman to preside over the opening ceremonies in that chamber. That's because Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick was called to the White House, where a spokesman there told me that the Lieutenant Governor has been meeting with senior administration officials to discuss border security issues. And the Lieutenant Governor will join Governor Abbott and the new speaker tomorrow at a news conference to discuss their legislative priorities. Live at the Texas Capitol tonight in Austin, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.